Hi, this is Mathematics for Social Justice by Mark Roth. Today we're going to look at a partition problem. And in this partition problem, we're going to be working with the number six. And we're going to break it up into distinct numbers. We're not going to repeat any numbers. So I can write six as itself, or I can write it as one plus two plus three. So notice there's no repeats. When I make, when I make six, I don't repeat a number. The other thing I do is I have an odd number of summons on the left, and I'll be putting an even number of su summons on the right. So I call each of these a summon. So for example, I can make 6 with 1 plus 5. Here I have an even number of summons. Or I can go 2 plus 4. Because, but I can't go 3 plus 3, because remember, I don't repeat summons when I, make, when I partition the number 6. Is there any other way to make six? On this side, I'm finished. On this side, I'm finished. So the next thing I do is I add the first number of each entry. So I add the six and the one, and I get seven. And here I add the one and the two, and I get three. So the next thing I do is I do seven minus three. So I'll write that down. 7 minus 3 equals 4. And I'll be getting four factors of 6. So basically, this is a way of finding out that 6 has four factors, which are 1, 2, 3, and 6. So these are the, the factors of 6. Let's try another example. Let's jump up, say, to... Um, maybe to 10. So I can, I can write 10 as 10, or I can write it as 1 plus 2 plus 7, or 1 plus 3 plus 6, or 1 plus 4 plus 5, or 2 plus 3 plus 5, and that's, that's all the ways. So if I add up the first numbers, I get 1, I get 10, 11, 12, 13, 15. And here I'll be making 10 with an even number of summons. So I can have 1 and 9, 2 and 8, 3 and 7, 4 and 6, or I can go 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4. So if I add the first numbers, I get 1 plus 2 is 3, 6, 10, 11. So that means I do 15 minus 11 is 4. So I should have 4 factors again for 10. 1, 2, 5, and 10. So let's do uh, maybe one more example. Let's, let's jump up to 12. So with 12, we can write it as 12, 1 plus 2 plus 9, 1 plus 3 plus 8, 1 plus 4 plus 7, 1 plus 5 plus 6, 2 plus 3 plus 7, 2 plus 4 plus 6, and then uh, we can go 3 plus 4 plus 5. Now let's make 12 an even number of summons. So we can go 1 plus 11, 2 plus 10, 3 plus 9, 4 plus 8, 5 plus 7, and I can also do it 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 6, 1 plus 2 plus 4 plus 5, 1 plus 3, well, I can't do that because uh, that would be too big. So um, let me try doing it like this. 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5. No, that's too big also. So um, maybe I can start with 1 and 3. 1 and 3 plus 4 
That's also too big. So I might be done now. So let me try adding the first numbers. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 18, 20, 23. And this will be 1 plus 2 is 3, plus 3 is 6, 10, 15, 16, 17. So if I do the takeaway, 23 minus 17 is 6. So that would be, the factors of 12 would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, and 12. So 12 has these six factors. And this is basically it. It's a little partition problem. I don't know the proof of this, but this is something that could be used in middle school or maybe even elementary school classrooms.